on this one is the it's a, a lot smaller nice small box a lot lighter and it's very cheap so what we'll do is we'll get it out of the box and we'll have a look at it we'll get it built and we'll look at it we'll get out of the box we'll speed this bit up because uh, probably be quite a few bits and bobs to take out yeah I'm looking forward to trying this something different right well that took all of five minutes so let's have a look it's tiny but it's very portable 14 inch wheels like nice things so I need to come off it's got the pedals to put on this is the battery pack the seat tilts forward there so you can get the battery pack out unplug it and press the button two hands it's got a little carrier seat reflectors I've still got more things on it little kickstand hydraulic brakes oh, still got all the packaging on little mud guards brakes uh, a nice light on the front there folding handlebars Fully adjustable stem. Zero on off. Didn't have to, have to turn it on. Yeah, it must be off. This is for your battery. Gives you the battery life. There's no speedometer or trip trip counter on this. This is your throttle. Obviously the brakes. That is the front, that's the front, that's the back, not the wrong way around, like the other one. Fully height adjustable seat. So that plugs in there. I did get a key. There's a key in my pocket somewhere. Don't know what I've done with it. But yeah, that's the first look. It comes with a remote control. locks it it protects it it's an alarm <whistles> I'll have to work that out it's got an alarm on it though it's locked unlocked locked hey <laughs> remote control for the alarm what have I done with the key? Alright, I'll come back when I get the pedals on and we'll get the power up. But for now, I'm going to charge it up so I can use it so, to get the battery out. Take the saddle up, put the key in, listen it off, lift the battery out, that's the battery, and then it plugs in in the house. Oh, that's them, that's the charging port. <laughs> so we'll do that, and then we'll come back and we'll have a go. So while I've got the battery charging, we'll have a look at the folding mechanism. So you get the pedals, right? And it's got this. See? Folds in nice, nice and neat. And then, get the other 
one. Put that on one hand. This is the frame mechanism. So you just pull that back, open that. For the handlebars, you flick that and pull that. And they go down. But I think you fold the frame first before the bars. So we'll do that. So pretend we've got the handlebars like that. So we'll put the seat forward, I right, tilt the seat. Hold the frame in. Should it go? That way. Oh, the stand, the kickstand. Bring the kickstand up. Bring the frame together and then handlebars down. There you go. Stick it in your boot. Very neat, tidy little package in it. You could also just take that out. It's a quick release. A quick release stem there. So just pull it out if you want. Give you a bit more space. Very compact. Very compact. Once that battery's charged up, we'll have a look at the other features. So, we've got the way it starts. The way it starts up, right, is amazing. Smart bike. Let's bring it in a bit closer. So, you've got this key fob, right? So, to unlock it, top one, two whistles, right? To lock it, Next one down, one whistle. To start it up, unlock, double, double click the lightning signal. So, let's see, it comes on with that. I think we can make it out. So, to turn it off, just press the lock, so it goes off. So, unlock. Lightning twice, then we're on. <gasps> so that's how you get it going there. So if you lock it, right, it's off and it's alarmed. So watch this. Let's put this back up on the tripod here. That's because the wind blowing. Yeah. What's what happens when I try to pinch the bike? Right, so it's locked, right? Come along, I'll make. Why aren't I? Here's the bike I can pinch. Oh, oh, oh. And then try to ride it. It's hell on. It's chaos. Absolute chaos. <laughs> I'm not having that. <laughs> it's got an alarm, it's fully alarmed. So if you noticed, when I tried to pedal, the, um, the brakes lock on, puts the brakes on, so I couldn't pedal it. Plus all the alarms going off. That's a good idea, isn't it? It tends to put people off and it won't stop until you press the stop button like so so that's unlocked that's ready to go now Ugh. so your presets are on here so. we've got so you've got three Levels of pedal assist. I don't think you can make it out. You've got the eco, which will be basically you're doing most of the pedaling. It'll help you on the bits where sort of if you struggle. 
mid range there is a little bit more assist it's basically one two three levels you know and you've got high which is more or less the bike doing all the work you're just pedaling just to keep the wheels spinning so you go mid high that's it that's the pedal assist it's also got the throttle you turn that we're off Ooh. it's hard they shouldn't do this when you're filming one handed as well because it just goes it goes. <laughs> I'm gonna fall off. I'm gonna kill myself. But yeah. That's it anyway. That's the, the throttle. Takes up to 15 miles an hour. You've got on there. Nice horn. On off for your lights. So I'll just put the kickstand down. Lights on. Rear light on, off, on, off, and brake light. You press any of the brakes, it's a brake light as well. And the kickstand, nice and strong. This is a good little seat. A little put your baby on the back of there, <laughs> just hang on to here. Show me the folding mechanism. So basically that's all the features of the bike. I like that alarm system. Now you've got these these modes here. You can kilometers per hour there, you've got the trip. You, oh, the, the odometer in the trip there. Um, 52.3. Not 100% sure what that means. It's got a few other settings there. That's it. So what I'll do is lock it. Right, watch this. Pinch this bike. Oh, it's off again. Ah. I'm not pinching it. I'm not pinching it. Good. So the next time we're out, we'll be riding it. I like it. <laughs> It's really, really springy. And it's really old fashioned springs in there. And I've got this is a nice damper. Fully adjustable seat. You can go up and down. Same with the handlebars. You've got this, this scale on here. Basically, just set it to however high you want it. This here loosens the bars here so you can have. You can tilt it towards you, tilt it back, whatever's comfortable. Just clamp it. You don't know all these Allen keys that it does away with a lot of Allen keys on this. Very good. Here we go then. So open it, unlock it, and then this one here, double click it, and that should be on. It is. We're going to set off. Apparently, the range is 25 miles. 25 miles or 40 kilometers if you're in the kilometers. Alright, let's go. thoughts when I'm riding it. I'm just riding one-handed here, so be careful. It's very, uh, very comfortable. <laughs> I should just watch what I'm doing. 
So we're about on the hills, climbing the hill now. Pedaling, a bit of pedal assist. Good. A bit of throttle, just get us through this bit. Oh, avoid the obstacles. The steering's brilliant, it's so precise. Turn on a sixpence. If you want to point it in the direction you want to go, it just goes that way. It's really good. The steering, so good. Oh, it's really comfortable. The saddle, it's really, really comfy. So, we're going down a hill here. Over a few bumps. Oh, <laughs> just lost the camera a minute there. Over a few bumps through some mud. Oh, oh. I didn't like the mud. Nice. Right, it's, uh, it's coping well. Off-road stuff, rough stuff. It's a commuter bike, so it's, a, it's designed for the roads, like the tarmac roads in uh, the city. Not really ideal out here, but it's handling it well. I mean, it's comfortable. Good fun as well. Yeah. Very good fun. Oh, <laughs> keep your eyes on the road. Oh. Yeah. We'll see how we get up this hill. We'll see how we get up this hill, yeah? Right, we'll just use the throttle here to set off. Uh, pedal assist kicks in. I'm not out the seat yet, I'm still sitting down. Yes, handle it, no problem. Another hill. Pedaling. Yes. Easy. The grass. Easy going up that hill there. That was quite a steep little hill when it went up it. With the pedal assist, a little bit of throttle. Zoomed up. Happy with that. This is display here. You get your speed, your battery power. I'm on three bars now. Yeah, elapsed distance. Odometer. And you get your horn. <laughs> lights, don't need the lights. Everything is just about. Ready? No pedaling. I'm <coughs> swallowing the fly. That's good. This is just on the throttle. <laughs> a bit dodgy. One handed riding on here is not a good idea. So there you go. Yeah, it is heavy, but. It's not as heavy as them great big ones. We're up. Whew. I think they say the weight of the bike is 21 kilos, which is heavy, but don't forget it's an e bike. Most e bikes are over 35. So it's light, it is light. So we're gonna go down here and round. Actually, no, I'm gonna go that way. Just gonna point out that that is great, really steep hill. That's a steep hill that, and it come up. Pedal assist. Didn't have to get out. So what do we think? Good little commuter city bike. I like the alarm. The alarm feature where you can't you can't pedal it if it uh, if it's locked. You just can't pedal it. Lots of features for a little bike. You get some Velcro and wrap things around there. 
comfy little saddle. I'd probably prefer that if it was a um, a rack, you know, like a, a rack like that. I'm not sure of the point of the seat, to be fair. But yeah. So if you're looking for a nice cheap foldable, I mean it falls down to nothing, you get it in the boot of your car. 21 kilos is not that not that heavy. I mean you know it's it's still bulky but it's alright, it's manageable. It's much more manageable than the bigger bikes. Great little commuter bike. Fabulous handling. It's so responsive like on the um when you weaving. It's got the suspension on the seat in the front, it's very good, nice and comfortable. I like the kickstand. All in all, I rate it. Brakes are sharp, very good brakes, stop you when you want. Fully adjustable. You can adjust the brakes, don't muck about with them unless you know what you're doing. The saddle's nice and comfy, look at the size of that saddle. Yep, yeah. DYU. A1F Pro. Links in the description. It is available online for £495, I think it is. I'm not sure if you get a discount on that. I'll have to have a look at that. £495 for that little city commuter bike. Perfect for city people. You know, when you've got like all these bus lanes and no cars and you les and you know congestion zones get yourself a tiny little bike when you get to work you just fold it away let me know what you think i might have another one to test but that's going to be in a while it's not going to be straight away so i'll just leave you with this there we go Put the pedals in. Put the pedals in. I don't need to fold it in here, but I could quite easily. But it'll go in. No, but I'll slide over the side like that. That's it.